everyone. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Today, I want to talk to you about MCT oils. MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides and triglycerides is just a technical term for fat. And MCTs, they come in various foods. Probably the best known food for MCT oil is coconut oil. And MCT, it's different from other oils like long chain triglycerides, which is what you find in most foods. And the reason it is different is because your body treats it differently, it metabolizes it differently. So MCTs are absorbed very quickly. They don't need bile to break down like the long chain triglycerides and they can be absorbed, go straight to the liver where the liver can use it as energy immediately or change them or convert them into ketones. And ketones, as you know, can cross the blood brain barrier and get into your brain quickly where they can be used as energy. One thing to note is that there are different types of MCTs and the way we define them is really how how many carbons are in that fatty acid chain. So if we look at long chain triglycerides, then they would have maybe between 13 and 21 carbons in their chain. Now MCTs have between 6 and 12 and we can differentiate between the different MCT oils depending on how many carbons they have. So for instance, if an oil has 6 carbons, we call it C6 and that's caproic acid. That's an MCT oil. Then you have C8, caprylic acid with eight carbons, and then C10, capric acid, and C12, lauric acid. All of those are MCT oils, but they're not all the same. So the thing you have to remember is C12 or lauric acid, although it is technically classified as an MCT oil, your body doesn't treat it as an MCT oil. So when you're buying MCT oil, just check that it's not majority lauric acid or C12. So you want the C6, C8, or C10 for a really good MCT oil. And the one I'm holding here is 100% split between C8 and C10. So caprylic acid and capric acid. So this is a very, very good MCT oil. Now coconut oil, although it has a lot of MCT oils in it, it is majority lauric acid and that's why you're not going to get as many benefits from coconut oil in terms of this MCT oils as you're going to get with a pure MCT oil where they have concentrated the caprylic acid and the capric acid. Yeah. So that's really the difference between coconut oil and a concentrated MCT oil because in coconut oil, the C8 and the C10 only accounts for about 14% of the oil. So all this is, is that they've concentrated those particular MCT oils to make this very potent MCT oil, which will have all the benefits of it. So what are the benefits of MCT oil? There are quite a few. One benefit is that your body can convert it into ketones that of course can be used as energy for your brain. And this normally doesn't happen unless you restrict carbohydrates, usually for up to three days beforehand. But with MCT oils, your body will produce ketones from it even if you've been eating a bit of carbohydrates, which is phenomenal. That's one of the reasons it's so good for your brain power, really gives your brain a boost, so improves your cognitive performance, clear-headedness, clear thinking, focus. Another great reason for taking MCT oils is for weight loss. So it keeps you feeling full for longer and reduces cravings, so that's great. Secondly, it actually boosts your metabolism and you start burning more fat. And thirdly, it's excellent for your gut environment, your microbiome, which is so important for weight loss and for maintaining weight. So MCT oils just optimize the environment within your gut for the good bacteria and also make sure that the lining of your intestines remains strong. And that's really, really important for weight loss. MCT oils are also very popular among athletes for various reasons. So one reason is because it can be used as energy very quickly. And then secondly, which I find very interesting, is that it seems to lower or reduce the amount of lactate that builds up in the body. So it's then easier to exercise. And then thirdly, 
they found through studies that if you take MCT oils before you exercise, you are more likely to burn fat during your exercise. So how do you use MCT oil? Well, you can add it to any of your food. Generally, I would say start with a small dose. The reason for this is that if your body is not used to it, you can get a bit of diarrhea if you take too much too quickly. So start with like a teaspoon a day and then you can increase that. And you can take as much as a tablespoon to two tablespoons a day if you want to. But yeah, start a bit slow. You can add MCT oils to your salad, you can put it in a smoothie, you can even cook with it, although not at high temperatures. But my favorite way of using MCT oils is in my coffee, bulletproof coffee. And I've made another video about bulletproof coffee, so check that out to find out exactly how you make it. But that's a wonderful thing to have in the morning coffee with some MCT oils in it and it just kind of gives you that boost you need for the day, wakes you up and fuels your brain. Another interesting thing to note is that MCT oils can be used as part of a fast. It won't break your fast. So for instance, if you're doing intermittent fasting, so maybe you are eating uh, in the evening but then you skip your breakfast and then you have a late lunch, then you can still have MCT oils in the morning, for instance, in your coffee, bulletproof coffee, and it will not break your fast. Your body still is in its fasting mode. You'll still get all the benefits of the fast. So MCT oils is a fantastic addition to your diet. I mean, more energy, better mental performance, fewer cravings, what's not to like? Try it and see what you think and let me know in the comments below. And until next time, have a fabulous life. Bye.